Hi, I'm Dr. James Kelly. I'm the CEO of QChange. This year I left higher education after 12 years in, as an associate professor. And at QChange, we're trying to solve one problem. We're trying to create the teacher experience that we all really want in the classroom. So what does that mean? Well, the problem is, is that often we put a lot of weight on our growth around the student evaluation at the end of the semester. Or if you're going up for tenure or you're an instructor or an adjunct, there's a lot of weight given on your ability to grow in your career based on that evaluation. However, when you look at the research, it's pretty clear that it's broken. And from personal experience, I've noticed that often at the end of the semester, I'm only getting five, 10, 15 different students to actually fill out the evaluation. Of those students, some give absolutely fantastic and others don't give quite what you would say is representative of you as a teacher. So at our solution, we actually allow the teacher to collect real-time feedback, quantitative and qualitative if wanted, around the class before and after. So stay tuned to this demo and thank you for your time and energy. Bye. Welcome to the Q Change teacher experience demo. Our solution revolves around the calendar. So if you're like many academics, you plan out your semester by creating these calendar reminders for you. Now you invite the students to the classes that you want to receive feedback from on areas that you're trying to grow. It could be as many as you want or as few as you want. But the idea is that you're getting feedback in real time from the students based on the class. Immediately before class starts, you will be sent a prompt or nudge either on your phone or on your desktop. In this example, we'll use being succinct and direct as a behavior you're trying to work on. At the end of class though, you and the students are sent another nudge, but this nudge is asking if you did the behavior being succinct and direct, and from the student's perspective, did they witness you doing that behavior being succinct and direct. So in real time, you are receiving a teacher-student perception gap, an incredibly powerful tool to drive self-awareness around the growth areas that you want to work on. But if you're fully curious, you have the ability to ask for written feedback. This written feedback is really powerful and like the quantitative feedback is anonymous and aggregated and delivered to you in Microsoft Teams. Now this written feedback comes in a certain structure where we look at what was the situation, what was the action, and what was the impact. So the student would say the situation was a 9 a.m. marketing course. The action was the professor kept telling very long stories that were disconnected and the impact is on the student is that they may have felt disconnected, unengaged, and really uninformed throughout the lesson. This is incredibly powerful to bring light, and again, this is delivered anonymously to you, the teacher. At the end of the week, you are delivered a summary score on your teacher-student perception gap, and it's pro are provided a proprietary teacher score based on the norms of your institution. You also have a leader dashboard that you can also access. So thank you and best of luck and have a great day.